focus on your breath. Try to get the mind to settle in. If you're going to be broadcasting any energy, try to broadcast calm energy. We look for a quiet place to meditate, but meditation can also make a place more quiet. to see what kind of good influence you can have on the environment around you by the fact that you are meditating, that your mind is centered. Let that be your gift to other people. We go through life dealing with other people, and because we all grew up with TV and now with the Internet, we picked up this idea that uh, human contact has to be entertainment, that we have to be entertaining with other people. But that's not necessary. There are lots of other ways you can have a good influence on other people and without trying to entertain them. You can be quiet. And John Lee made a gift of quiet one time. He was a senior monk in Bangkok who had been very much opposed to the forest tradition. He fell sick. And so John Lee went to visit him and then sent the room off in a corner meditating. And the power of his concentration was so strong, the monk could actually feel it. He said, what are you doing? And John Lee said, I'm giving a gift of quiet. And the monk said, well, whatever it is, keep on doing it. It feels good. And then as the monk began to recover, John Lee was actually able to talk to him about meditation and get him to meditate himself. And he became a strong supporter of the forest tradition, simply because of that gift of quiet. So as you go through the day, think, think of yourself giving a gift of quiet to the people around you. If you're pregnant, think of the gift of quiet to the, the fetus inside you. And this can be your gift to the world. The world needs a lot of quiet right now. There's a lot of turmoil, there's a lot of strife, there's a lot of divisiveness. And one of the best ways of counteracting that is to make, get your mind as quiet as, as you can, and let that be the energy you give to the world. <laughs>